What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Today I saw a film called The Party Loot, which stars Aaron Paul and what a cool month for Aaron Paul, by the way. You know, he's in Party Loot. Uh, this week he could be seen in uh, El Camino, uh, the Breaking Bad uh, film, which is sort of a Breaking Bad story, I think, which is kind of a weird title, but whatever. And not to mention, uh, he's returning for uh, the final season of Bojack Horseman, which premieres this month. Like, if you're a fan of Aaron Paul, this is a month for you. Anyway, uh, now, you know, I didn't really knew much about Party Lose. Like, I knew Aaron Paul and Mary Elizabeth Whistler was going to be retaming once again, at, at, you know, first time since uh, Smash, and I loved Smash. Really good at love them. And so, I was like, okay, after seeing Smash, I'm down to see them in another film. Sad to say, uh, Aaron Paul and Winston did not really share any screen time, which was a very disappointing moment, but anyway... Now, in the film, uh, the story revolves around, uh, this, this kid named, um, Wesley, who, who's played by this, uh, kid actor named, uh, Danny Murphy, and in the film, uh, he actually, um, the character of Wesley is deaf, which, uh, and, you know, the actor, uh, Danny Murphy is actually deaf in real life, which, it's pretty cool that, it is pretty cool that, um, they're actually, can, um, getting, you know, actual deaf actors portraying, uh, deaf characters, whether it's uh, that little girl from A uh, Quiet Place or uh, or the one uh, who played Daphne on a uh, Switch at Merv, I think it's or Molly Matlin and all. I think it's pretty cool to uh, see like more you know deaf actors getting uh, big film breaks or TV breaks. But uh, anyway, uh, and uh, um, you know Wesley, you know is this kid who uh, lives with his uh, with his like uh, leveling uh, supportive mother, played by Winston, and uh, her. As well as uh, his uh, young uh, sister in a uh, Midwestern uh, home. And uh, you've got um, Wesley's dad, played by Scoop McNary, who ends up who pretty much seems to be like, uh, who seems to be like um, away from the uh, household for like a long uh, stretch of the time. And the, the dad is kind of a dick. Like, I'm not going to lie. There's literally times when the dad says stuff and stuff. Literally made me want to go in the uh, film screen and literally punch that guy's lights out. Like, he was, he was kind of a real dick here. And so, uh, Wesley's, you know, uh, he also has, like, a life outside of, uh, outside of home, which is not really much better because he also, uh, ends up getting uh, constantly, uh, bullied by these, uh, by these little douchebags and all, and, uh. But he ends up uh, coming across the, um, this like man played by uh, Aaron Paul, who's like lying down on a uh, snowy ground, and it turns out that uh, that the guys that uh, Paul's character is also a uh, you know ended up uh, robbing a uh, bank, like robbing a bank too. And we also find out that the character has a daughter as well. I'm like, why would you rob a like? Why would you do that if you have a kid? That's kind of that's kind of pretty uh, messed up on his part, but uh, and then we see like a uh, friendship and bond between uh, Wesley and the guy and the uh, Paul's character, and I gotta say the bond, the uh, chemistry between uh, the between Wesley and uh, Aaron Paul's character, you know, was pretty good. I mean, the character, by the way, is named uh, Darren, and his like uh, story is very mysterious. But, uh, the Aaron Paul, you know, obviously it's Aaron Paul. He's going to be great. I, I just love Aaron Paul. You know, I mean, I don't watch much. I haven't watched much Breaking Bad. But I've seen episodes here and there of Breaking Bad. And Aaron Paul is great on that show. And he was great in the movie Smash. You know, also with uh, Woodson. He's a really cool actor. And I'm, I kind of hope he uh, becomes, like, more of a breakout after since the Breaking Like, since Breaking Bad ended, he hasn't really had that big breakthrough hit. You know, the, they tried to make him a lead in a Need for Speed, which I like Need for Speed, but yeah, it didn't do so hot, and the reviews wasn't all that hot, so yeah. But uh, I think Aaron Paul is a really great actor, and I hope we see him like uh, really become like a big breakout star in the near future, like a big film breakout star in the near future, because I think Paul is a great actor. I mean, he's of course in season three of Westworld as well, so there's that too. And also the uh, mother and son dynamic chemistry between uh, Wesley and the mother was great. I mean, I thought Elizabeth uh, Winston was terrific here. And the movie was a little slow at times. I mean, it was a very draggy and all that. 
but you really got invested with these uh with the characters here. Um the perform like I said, the performance is great. And it was And it was also uh, directed by this director named uh, Christopher uh, Cantwell, who also uh, directed that uh, show Hard and Catch Fire, which explains why Scoop McNary is in this. But uh, yeah, I really, I mean, it's not really going to be one of the best movies I saw this year, nothing like that. But I thought it was pretty decent. The pacing was interesting. Uh, like I said, it was a little slow. I mean, there was some uh, boring moments in this. But that aside, I thought it was pretty decent. And if you guys haven't seen The Parts You Lose, I'll say give it a shot. I mean, I think you'll, I think you'll um, get kicked out of the film. But uh, anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. Uh, what did you, like? Did you have a chance to check out uh, Aaron Paul's new film, The Posse You Lose? If so, uh, what did you thought of it? Did you like it? Uh, did you even, have you ever even heard of the film? Drop a comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here's two movies signing off.